So you were uh, also telling me in the break that um, you've done a double-blind control study on uh, uh, Allison's ability to be able to shorten colds. Uh, obviously, there's an amazing uh, preventative here as well, isn't there? Absolutely. I mean, to be honest, this is the first time a double-blind placebo control study has been done on a garlic extract. That might sound surprising, bearing in mind that garlic's been used for preventing colds for many, many years. Well, nobody years. can make any money but, out but, of it. So. Well, no, no one had actually ever done any proper science on it until we did this study about four years ago now. And we took 140 people. Half of them had just one capsule a day of the Allison product, and the other half had a placebo. The number of colds in each group was reduced by more than 50% in the Allison group. The symptoms were got rid of, like, so that's coughing. So let me get this straight. These are people who have already got colds. They've got the scratchy feeling. No, it's coming No, on. no, no. These are, these are people who are picked from all over the UK, and, and they took the product for three months during the winter period. Right. They didn't have any colds to start off with, but we wanted to see whether the incidence of colds would be different I'm in the you. active and the placebo okay. group. So it didn't stop everybody from getting a cold. I think that's an important thing to say. But even those who got a cold whilst taking the Allison product... They recovered from the symptoms of those colds, like coughing and sneezing and headache and runny nose, within a day, one day, whereas in the placebo, on average, it took five days to recover. So that, that is a magnificently significant difference, and it was statistically significant. And the other factor that came out of the study was that a lot of people on the placebo the dummy, they actually got more than one cold during that three-month period. Whereas in the Allison group, I think it was less than, it was only two people got more than one cold. The difference was, again, very statistically significant. So this stuff not only can prevent colds from happening in the first place, it can get rid of the symptoms if you're unlucky enough to suffer a cold, and it prevents you from getting another cold. This has got some pretty profound implications also when you start looking at cholesterol and heart disease and stroke. Tell us what you found about that. Well, in, in my book, we, we cover all aspects of what Allison can do for human health. And, and the heart and circulatory system is a main area, obviously. We know that Allison is a very mild HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. In other words, it's a natural statin. Uh, okay, it works in the same way, but obviously it doesn't have the opportunity to cause side effects because the body recognises it as being a natural extract and not some sort of chemical that's trying to affect a body system. So we would expect significant reductions in cholesterol and blood pressure. We've recently put Allison together with beta cytosterol, um, which is used in all of the spreads and the yogurts, uh, and we have now a, a first class lipid lowering natural extract um, and believe you me Philip it works extremely well. So uh, also tell me about the uh, work you've done with uh, Allison and cancer. Well there's been a lot of work done on, on garlic and cancer for many many years and in fact in America it's seen as, as, a, as a, an anti-cancer food for sure but what we have discovered is that um, Allison when it gets into the bloodstream breaks down into a number of other sulfur compounds and two in particular are very very good anti-cancer agents that's a compound called diallyl disulfide and diallyl trisulfide they're sulfur chemicals and they have the ability to knock out cancerous cells and at the same time they boost the immune system so you get an all-round benefit to anybody who's going through that cancer scenario the, um, the, the question I'm bound to finish with of course is that people um, write to me and say Right, we hear all the things about garlic, cannot stand it, can't eat it. So is there no hope for these people at all? What can they do? I would, I would encourage that sort of person to I try. mean, my father, for instance, yeah. would just fly out the door the moment you <laughs> cut a garlic globe. He can't bear the stuff. Yeah, my dad was the same. He thought it was French foul smelling muck but um, the point is a lot of these a lot of these people can take a good quality supplement like the, the stabilized Allison product without any problem at all you don't smell it you don't taste it could they can they take those capsules and, and like break them up and put them into juices and things yeah, like that you can do all of that you kind of hide we, it we get people that put it into orange juice and pineapple juice and milk and you can put it onto a piece of toast you can put it onto a bit of cheese you, you can use it in so many different ways because because the allicin is physically in the product, you're still going to get the benefit to the mm. body as you as you take it in. And uh, you know, in addition to taking you know 
one or two capsules a day for, for good health, just eat garlic. The way uh, they used to in the old, old yeah, days before we stopped smelling. Yeah, I always like to say, you know, it, when I grew up, it was an apple a day would keep the doctor away. I like to say today, it's a clove a day will keep the doctor away. So yes, eat a bit more garlic if you can. And if you really can't manage it, then please get a good quality garlic supplement and take that instead. Peter, it's been great to see you, and thanks for coming with us. We've got a gale blowing outside, so hopefully it hasn't come through on the film. But thank you very much for coming along. All the, all the best with your book. Thank you. And uh, we will, of course, be keeping people at CTM notified about uh, the exciting news that you have coming up in a few months. Super. Thank you very much, Philip.